through? First, I gotta... The thing. Then I gotta wait about eight seconds for it to actually start. Does it take a second for it to start? Uh, I'll just kind of go ahead and explain where I was then. So, oh, that's funny. That's cute. Uh, after I ended stream yesterday, I took some screenshots and stuff. And uh, I came here to the ship thing because uh, you just have to talk to them to, uh, to get to the ship builders and stuff. I have the game audio a little too loud in my headset. You still sound so, like you're uh, in a cave, but other than that, we're fine. Okay. You can click X to access the ship builder, which I didn't do anything to it that way. I pressed instead A to upgrade the ship. And uh, I gave myself a reactor with two more points. Uh, I'm pretty sure I also upgraded my shields. And... Maybe my engines or something? I don't remember what the last thing I upgraded was. But we've got a couple more points and stuff. I think it might have been engines. Uh, other than that, I've sold a bunch of stuff. Um, I think I want to start off by continuing to do this mission that we started yesterday. Really so, not going to say that I'm here again? Like I thought we could cares? hear you. I, no, you can't do it. Or Bosco. Uh, hey, I don't guess I even had to get in the cockpit. So where is Hope Tech? Uh, Arian. Just now get the notification for streaming. That's barren. Where am I supposed to go here? Oh, not the Narian system. Is there another system right here? Follow system. The cherry. That's where system. we gotta go, and I've never been here before. Sorry, these stars are so close to each other. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Scan me, boss. You're good to go. All clear to land at Hopetown. Alright. Ron Hope was a blue collar deep space hauler who spent his life savings to establish Hope Tank. Landing site's clear. Well, what it says, anyways. Porco, I think you better be clean next time I go in there. I'll get to it, Dad. I promise. saying it. So do I have to be stealthy this time around? Or can I just waltz in like I always have? I'd say you gotta waltz in. Stealth is crazy. I mean they seem to act like I needed to be stealthy a little bit. I don't want to hear any complaints. Yeah, so far I have just waltzed into these places. Seems like Hope Town sprang up out of nowhere. It is really hopping. You might want this. I mean, I can sneak around when I get into really sketchy stuff. Hope Tech is the everyday working person's ship. Looks like I might need to go upstairs. be 
dust except for the factory. I've got to get out on the factory floor. So, tell me this. Where the fuck do your workers go in? Uh, it me this, Hope Tech. I couldn't get a R roll that time. We're down. So apparently my sense of direction is bad. Oh. But we knew this already. Authorized personnel only, so... I'm gonna sneak just to stay on the safe side. I'm detected. Just to stay on the safe side. Yeah. <laughs> God. I think I might put another point into stealth if I have it. Hey, you've been watching to. my stealth in Skyrim. You bullshitted yourself to level 100 before the tutorial was over. I shared Drow a funny. billion times. Which is really funny. It is really funny. Thank you for noticing. Do I need to be in that ship? Probably. Is this way. Don't I have such a great sense of direction, Seth? Amazing. Inspected the building as I am the building inspector. Thank and you, you pass, inspector. you get a passing grade. Congratulations on your passing grade that I gave you, that I have certified and been certified for. Thank you, building inspector. I don't know what we would do without you. That's not the door. I am not, however, a door inspector. <laughs> True. We can probably just go ahead and fast travel since I'm. Uh, we fly back to the Voli system. I wonder how deep the oceans are here. They seem impossibly deep. <coughs> this way. <coughs> I drank that tea raw. If my shift goes on again, my girl is good. Tea drinker.
So apparently Nexus mods have made a statement that uh, they're not going to allow any mods that remove the pronoun selection from the game. Because, you know, it just takes that little thing to make people impossibly mad. <laughs> because I get to choose what my character goes by. Hey there. Got an update for me? Uh, I planted the device. Good work. Now I can let Masako know how much she'll enjoy watching the news tonight. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. Ooh, tell me. Happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Masako was pretty happy about the results, so she arranged for a small bonus through Linden. It won't buy you a new ship, but it's something. You earned it. All right. So, back to business. In I order to stay on top of the market, but... we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely. <laughs> I sabotaged a company for stealing from us. This is classic hypocrisy. Good. I'm not saying that. Luckily, there aren't many we'll do what besides we want. the usual. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. You'll All find right. the Trident Luxury Lines star yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Remember, okay. same rules apply. Don't get caught, and don't make a mess. Okay. Did she give me three Digipics and then two more? How many Digimon did she give you? She gave me like four of them. And a Tamagotchi. That's awesome. She seemed to think Charizard was the same thing, but I told her otherwise. Ah, uh, understandable. <laughs> A spaceship. We need to go to the Cheyenne system. And this time we're going into space. I have come home. Approaching ship. Entered Free Star Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Check me, boss. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. screen for going from one space object to another. Uh, am I going to get in trouble if I land and don't hail them? I think I just want to get close and land them. Want this. 
Hello. What's up? I'm just supposed to be here. Yeah, yeah. I bet they're gonna this is the place I'm supposed to be. Just to look at these ships. Everything okay? Here's the someone, part where this gets done. Someone told me that. I definitely believe them. I don't think any of these are gonna work up here. I think that one and this one are gonna work. Alright, we're in. Routine maintenance. <laughs> uh, thinking that and this for the outside, maybe? I am. Oh, that was scary. I didn't get spotted though, did I? I don't think so. Don't try that again. No! I'm safe scumming. I'm safe scumming. What happened? I got spotted. Oh, skill issue. Because I forgot. I forgot it doesn't open up a menu when you do it like that. Why did I leave the door open while I was in the sketchy room, huh? Yeah, it's riding the survives on its power. But I am. True. It is an honor to be part of something so great. There. How did I do this last time? I don't think it's the same combination as last time. I think that's an undo. Uh. I think last time someone spoke and it caught me off guard, but I think I was somewhere where I would have been safe if I just kind of committed to what I was doing. I think if I would have done that instead, I would have been fine. Well, I'm a room inspector. This is a nice room. I totally didn't do this and fuck up already once. That's for sure. This definitely has never failed in another lifetime. True. I would know. You keep installing new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas every day. I have added things one time. Back to Ryujin. <sighs> da 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 da. something for you. I'm sure you 
do, Barrett. You say this all the time. What did he say? He's there. He, the he's car. broken, and he always says he has something for me when he does it. Oh, what does he have for you? Because he'll just, he'll just randomly give you things sometimes, but also he says it every time I walk through a new room. What does he have for you? Uh, I don't even remember what he had the first time. What does he have for you this time, though? He doesn't. Yeah, he does? He said so. What's so new? I'll talk to him. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing's new. Unless... Are you still in the elevator, Barrett? Yes. Well... No, he doesn't even been. have the dialogue option to... Just the person I wanted to see. You got that schematic? Right here for you. Good work. R&D's been looking forward to this one. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process. But first, Ulara wants to see you. Oh, I've upgraded different. your security level so you can access the executive floor where her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve you have an appointment. I won't be far behind. In case you get lost. Alright. Make it quick. I have a deadline. That is a magnificent dragon statue. Truly. I wonder how many people ever get to see it. Oh. Can I help you? Speak Name and appointment. Confirmed. Ularu is wrapping up a meeting with Genevieve. You can wait here or in the lobby area. I'll let you know when she's ready to see you. I see Imogene Salso is supposed to be with you. I'm right here, Maeve. Good. It should just be a moment. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. Perfect. your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv, because you're too good at your job. No. We can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine. But you can break this news to Alexis at our next meeting. You've been good. waiting? You're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? I and love it. I am having fun it with for it. For years to come, we're all about even though I cheated at it. And investment here. I'd like to think that the sheer dedication of our employees is how I don't care. This is my playthrough. I'll play it how I fucking want to. <laughs> for so long. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do, and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments and one specialized. And on top of all that, a flawless record. It's no wonder. Wow, I wonder how I here. did that. <laughs> I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Jeannie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. She's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. 
Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. All right. Good, because if not, I can't imagine we have much use for you here at Ryujin. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So, his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So, if you have negotiation skills, use them. Sounds oh, <laughs> you'll get the information if you want to hang on to your job. Now, in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Jeannie give you the details on this one, because the concept is just... beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. Ah, uh, great. At some point, he'll casually say, Looks sports. like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? <laughs> then we throw our drink that. to the floor, flip over a random chair, right? <laughs> I love Barrett. That's stupid, but whatever. You'll find nah, him in Sidonia, so I hope your ship's fueled. Just look for him above the Lux condos in the plaza. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope she doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> keep out of my way. God, she comes off as a, as a psychopath already. Well, that wasn't too bad for your introduction. What do you think of Ularu? She be does, nice. doesn't she? You caught her in a good mood. Let God, me know really? if you have any questions regarding your assignment. <laughs> and enjoy your time in Sidonia. It's certainly no neon. I worked with Simon a lot in my time as a field op. He's a perpetually grumpy man, but I think he just likes to keep his distance. Getting close Fair. to people isn't a luxury he can afford in his line of work. Much like ours. All right. That's not the elevator. That gave the impression of being elevated. Ooh, I'm on the ceiling. Does this suit give me my, uh... My persuasion bonus? Oh, it gives me plus 10. That's even better. Alright, then. Dungeons and diners and dragons and dragons and dives. I might want what, Barrett? Oh, pardon me. Tell me what I might want. <laughs> Was that your? I do actually. Oh, what's this? Here you go. Holy shit, he had something for me. He had an alien pie. Asteroids? What are you asking? Man, I respect the folks in the military. Suit, suit, suit. It put me outside of my ship. Just breathe in space, idiot. That's being simple. Being surrounded by them can be more stressful than being on a planet. My eyes are so fucking big, holy shit. Did I almost explode? Why do I look like that? Ah! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Why do I look like that? You look normal to me. Living in the 
underground or caves has been a classic human maneuver since our species branched off. There's some sort of temperature or something here that's bothering me. Wait, so... If I take the space suit back off, since I'm in a controlled space now, or, you know, whatever the fuck I'm trying to say. Just because the governor's office is right out there on the main level doesn't mean it's not secure. Sidonia may be rough around the edges, but it is utterly monumental for humanity. Come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day's going. Not much to see. Same old buildings, same old rocks. What I wouldn't give for a beer and some real entertainment out there. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. <laughs> Something about it, then barely remember it. Uh... Damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. Do you take coupons? <laughs> 10,000 credits that I think I can afford, but also For let's try to talk them out of it. Bit. <laughs> Believe me, I know exactly what this is worth. Uh. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I haven't agreed yeah, to anything not... yet. Do we have any... Let's not close the door on this just yet. Okay. Alright, I'll lower the price. But that's my final offer. Unless you may prefer the side job now. Uh, I need to be quick. Reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Alright. Nice doing Sorry. business with you. So... Let's see what I got. What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. It's even got a catchy code name. Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling you, this Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell. You should be in the Astral Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. They know ah, you wanna... That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally no, gonna put share. Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game. 
Okay, so they think this is gonna be the one that puts us out. So I can make a plan off his... file, where does that put it? So if I wait, how do I wait? find anything flashy here, but it'll get you where you need to go. so many applicants. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Everything okay, Gideon? You seem a little... Don't look at me. I haven't got a clue. Alright, it's past your lunch time. I might just be stupid not reading this right. Eleven leaves for lunch. something any traction on getting the board to agree to opening up the HR headcount for me oh you gotta be kidding me I doubt anything's going to happen you're not saying you <laughs> yeah with all the occupants already there I'm sure they'll still be aligned by the time I'm done here that and I don't even know who you are if security wants me they'll come talk to me themselves so get a secure. I'll make a note of it and see what they have to say. I highly doubt that. I can't be the only one that won't make it there immediately. If security suspects me, I've been here all day, and these people can attest to that. 
And as for stuff being stolen, I wish I could say I had something of value. But hey, I work for Infinity LTD, not Ryujin Industries. Ah, now he gets up. Okay, whatever. Bypass this system security. Just say it out loud for them to hear, Barrett. Just tell them, tell them all, just be like, oh, hey, you're hacking really loudly. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Sorry, Alex, but Barrett is legally cooler than you. That's fair, he's Barrett. True. This game has space Texas. I can't believe it. Every game doesn't have space Texas. True. I think it would be very fitting for Minecraft, personally. True. Especially, I don't know. I'd, I'd say it's even more fitting for Stardew Valley. Honestly, though, that kind of sounds like it would make sense, almost. Yeah, love the part in Stardew Valley where you go to space to specifically Texas. Alien abduction DLC. <laughs> the aliens are from Texas. You had to plant crobololoid plants. I love that there's these little maintenance robots. Like they really remind me of like the mouse droids like Star Wars. What you do with Texas is real. Well, that took Got longer than you. expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. Uh. Project Dominion. That can't be right. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see. Got the key. Deciphering. And done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. Project Dominion isn't an Infinity LTD prototype. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. All right, all right. any trouble.
don't wander into any restricted areas. I'm wondering where I'm supposed to be. Hey, Em. Ularu? What is this about? Who is this? This is our latest junior operative. I sent her on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Am I dissociating? Do I have a... Do I have a status effect? Possible. No? Not only I'm just that, dissociating. they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. 